Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are, as always, Arne and Carlos. And today we have a design episode for you. Uh, I mean, a lot of people know us from our videos and the fact that we do a lot of tutorials, a lot of how to do this, how to do that, and so on. <laughs> but the core of our business is design. And what we do most of the time is design uh, knitting patterns and other things like uh, sock yarn for regia and things like that. So today we have a pure design episode. Let's call it a show and tell, Arne. Show and it's a show and tell. It's a show and tell. And we are going to talk about the pillows that we have designed for Rowan and which are now out in the new Rowan magazine. And they're also available as downloads on the Rowan website. Yes. So let's show some pillows. Yes, let's, let's show some pillows one. and let's talk about inspiration as well. Yeah. These pillows are knitted in a yarn called Soft Yuck. Soft Yuck is a very luxurious yarn. It consists of yuck yarn mixed with wool, I think it is. And it's done in chainette. So it's a very uh, nice stitch. And then the colors are beautiful because you have the, um, you, they're dyed in different colors, but you also have the uh, natural pigment of the, of the yarn from the yak that kind of shines through. So uh, very, very, very beautiful colors. Perfect yarn for color work, really. It's one of the coolest yarns for cover, color mm. work that we've worked with. And it's also great because it's a transitional yarn. It's not as warm as wool. Uh, it is nice and warm. It's got a little bit of a, a sheen to it, a little silky kind of feel. And they're perfect for tra transitional garments. And uh, we also think they're really perfect for interior design. That's mm. why we decided to do this collection for Rowan. And this one is has a rose motif. So this rose is actually from the garden. We just took looked at our pictures from the garden mm -hmm. and then we made one. We created our rose. With so rose. is it uh, Maiden's Blush? Is this the rose? Oh, I don't remember. It's one of the roses. It's one of the, the roses anyway. A beautiful... <laughs> I never remember names. <laughs> that happens. A beautiful rose uh, pillow, uh, knitted in intarsia. Yeah. And, for, uh, and all the, the, pill, uh, the cushions are knitted by the Roman people yeah. in England. So we just made a design, we didn't knit these pillows. And on the, on the back we put a, a, contrasting, a contrasting color. color because we, when, you, when you put them on top of each other like this, we think it's really nice to have the contrast. Yeah. And I think people know already by now, I mean, we've been doing YouTube for three years or a little bit more than three years. And by now a lot of people know that I don't like things that are matchy-matchy. I don't like matching things. I like things that are eclectic and mismatched. So when I was doing the colors for the pillows, I was looking specifically for a color that was not on the on the pillow itself to put on the back. So I think that I think that it's cooler uh, to find colors that can complement each other instead of matching each other. So you won't yeah. see any of these pillows with the same color on the back that is on the but, design. But in the if front. you knit all of these pillows and put them in your sofa, you have matching pillows. Yeah, you kind of do. Yeah, the, yeah, these match, <laughs> but, but not the but not the backs. The piece itself. Yeah, you see. So. And then the one you are holding is inspired of rose paintings. Yes. I even found the flowers here in the book. So there you, you go. These flowers with the, the crusadur. Yeah, the little <laughs> swirls like that. And this, the other flowers. So this, this kind of rose painting is the inspiration for this pillow. Yeah, and this book is called uh, Folkekunst, Norwegian Folkekunst, folk, folk art from Norway. And uh, we have long traditions of rose painting, as we call it, uh, and rose carving as well. A lot of items that are carved uh, using rose floral motifs in wool, uh, sorry, in wood. Mm -hmm. And we also have, uh, like. yeah, as, as things like this. And then either they're carved or they're painted on cabinets, on spoons, on different kinds of things. This is uh, what we call bunde antikiteter in Norwegian, which means the, the peasant's antiques. So they're very rustic furniture uh, that, you know, 
existed in in many farms like your family farm for example Arna these are like wooden plates yes so we've taken so, a lot of the inspiration yeah here you go another a lot of nice motifs that you use as inspiration and this as book a, is actually called man's work yes it's a man the, man's Norwegian Arna. folk art but it's also said man's work so in that these days they had some crafts for women, crafts for, women for crafts for men so men's crafts were wood carving and uh, wood painting um, like this cabinet is really beautiful but we shouldn't look at the, the cabinets we should look at the pillars yeah, yeah. so i want to say that it's very important as a designer it's very important that we don't take an element of something and copy it exactly onto another thing you can look at it and Being you can inspired. inspire by it but in the end of the day it should be your own if you just copy if you just emulate what's in a book what's in a photo what's it painted on a cabinet or carved on a spoon you're just copying so it's all about taking it and then making it into your own which is what we always try to do especially when you do things like this you have to work a little bit you can't yeah. just take it as it is and put it on something so i like to say that this is a rose painting inspiration but we've also added the roses from our garden and made it more into a, a floral pattern uh, which has its origins there again a yeah separate different color on the back since we're still we with the like florals maybe we should keep doing florals another flower uh, can you give me this back? this one is inspired of uh, some pillows we have that Carlos grandmother did yeah and this one is a mix of this this one and the flowers on no no that's no, that's the same flower no yeah this one this one this flower so we've been talking a lot about Arne's grandmother the past years uh, it's now time to talk a little bit about <laughs> my grandmother my grandmother was uh, also a prolific uh, embroiderer and knitter and she embroidered these pillows um, and of course I have a lot of sentimental value attached to them because they belong to her and uh, I got them from my parents um, and they are typical from the I don't know 60s or maybe 70s maybe older maybe older and they are embroidered uh, by her uh, yeah and uh, pretty much a great source of inspiration for these uh, mm. these designs I like these graphic designs yes very, me too and this nice. floral design is so nice yeah. but so, of course we can't create we can't copy this so we just inspire ourselves to make it our, our own so we made this version which is inspired of those and you see that it's cleaner because you it's hard to put all these things in the yeah. pillow. And again, the back is something you won't see in the front. So it's a color that is not used in the back. It's actually a darker gray than the one here. Yeah. And then we have another one with eight leaf roses and also like flowers. So the eight leaf rose and these leaves and the flower. Around. Yeah. So traditional Norwegian eight leaf rose symbol that has been used in Norwegian knitwear for at least 150 years. Uh, it comes from Selbo, which is north of Trondheim, uh, and is one of those designs that a lot of people kind of connect to Nordic, but it's also uh, North Sea. I mean, Shetland, Scotland use the symbol, and it's actually a universal symbol. It comes from all over the world, or actually it's used all over the world. And in uh, the corners we put those uh, acanthus. Yes, from the rose paintings. From the rose paintings. And the, and the rose carvings. And the outline on this flower is almost like four hearts. If you pull these lines mm. to the center, it's like the rosette cakes. Yes, Arne's favorite cookies. And this is purple on the back. Yeah, so completely different color to contrast and complement. I'm really happy with the with the colors you picked on the back. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I worked hard at that. <laughs> because when you put them on top of each other, they're really nice. They yeah. look so nice. They're so great. Okay, let's go to the next pillow. I think this is one of my favorites. If you could bring it up to me. This is also like a flower or like uh, four hearts. And you know what else it reminds me of? Waffles. Oh, waffles. It could yeah. be waffles. In Norwegian uh, or in Norway, we do waffles and you put the, the, the paste in this waffle iron, you know, the one that you fold down, that one. And it's shaped like, a, it's shaped like, a, like hearts. And it's also a floral pattern. It's also a traditional 
yeah, uh, so pattern now, in Norway. Now, it, now it's getting more and more traditional. And look at the background color. The back is red. And I think here you can see, if we zoom it in, you can see the, um, the color graduation because of the natural pigment of the yarn, which is then mixed with the dye. So very nice, very graphic uh, pattern. I would say very Scandinavian looking, in my opinion. And, um, and they're little hearts mm, shaped as flowers. Mm -hmm. And then we have these really simple patterns. Like we were thinking this should be the back of these things. Originally, yeah. Originally, but Rowan found, thought that these were also nice. So they came out as pillows. Yeah. Which we're really glad for because I think it works really good. It does. However, if you want to do a pillow that has this front and this back, it's perfectly okay, so you could do that. But it works really good like this. By itself, yeah. With blue on the back. And this is, this is based on a traditional pattern from mittens. It's is it like, a Swedish pattern? I think it's from Sweden. However, I've seen this on tiles in Morocco as well. Yeah. So this is one of those universal. modern, uh, universal patterns that maybe is not as modern as one would think. Sometimes design, good design can be very, very timeless. So mm -hmm. it doesn't really look and this pattern is like optical, but you could, if you use your imagination, you can also see there's like roses in this. Hmm. There's like, this is a leaf, two leaves, and this is a leaf, and then there are two leaves. Hmm. So yeah. It's, uh, how many? Six leaf rows. Yeah, it's a beautiful pattern. If you use your imagination. Absolutely. If not, you see optic. A beautiful pattern, nothing new, nothing that we have created. It's just a... Uh, something that is nice. It, we thought it would be great as a background and then it ended up on the front. We've got a few more. Um, That's another. Again, nice pink, sal like a salmon color. And then on the front you have a, uh, a nice green with gray. Now this is also a basic pattern from uh, Mitten, but we used it on the pillow. Yeah. And it's bigger than on the Mitten. Yeah, we've enlarged it. Uh, whilst the floral designs are knitted in intarsia, these can be done in simple uh, color work. But back and forth. So mm -hmm. one needle in knit and one in pearl back. Yeah. And, and the finally, one. the last one. Again, another, another nice uh, pattern. I have to say, I like, the, I like the way they're stuffed. I like that they are not too stuffed. Mm. Uh, it's nice because you can, um, yeah, they're really cozy and you can really enjoy. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is enough. also an oversized pattern from a mitten, which was supposed to be on the back, but now it's a pillow. It's on the front. And, so, and the color on the back. It's is a nice orange, which complements the blue very well. So again, I don't like matchy, and I think that contrast <laughs> is nice. Yeah, but However, it is. Actually it is. the good thing about knitting it yourself is that if you love match matchy, it's nothing, you know, I don't, I don't mind. And you're welcome to knit it with one of the colors on the front to match it if you like. So it's all a free world and everybody can do whatever they like. It gives a little... Yeah, I think that the matchy, or sorry, the, the, an oomph. Uh, <laughs> it's an oomph. <laughs> an oomph. <laughs> and I think that, I think that the contrasting colors uh, give, you know, complement them very well. However, they can be matchy as well, as I was saying. That's the beauty of doing it yourself. You can choose whatever colors you like and you can make it your own which is great. So Unfortunately, these pillows has to go back to Roland in England, so yeah. we have to make our own. Yeah, we might, we might lose the box uh, somewhere between <laughs> Norway and uh, Yorkshire. <laughs> the box, you know, DHL lost the box. I don't know. This looks really good in our sofa. Yeah, they look gorgeous in our sofa. Um, we really love them. We love doing uh, interior design. Uh, so uh, we hope that you'll enjoy this collection of pillows. If you want to get the patterns, uh, they are available as downloads. You go to the Rowan website or you go to our blog where you also will be able to download these, par par these patterns at www.arnecarlos.com. Visit our blog and you have the links to download these patterns there. I think that's all we can say about these gorgeous pillows. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep them on our sofa for a few more days <laughs> before cuddle, they have to go them. and cuddle them, yeah. before they have to go into the box to be shipped to Rowan. So, uh, well, Arne, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so thank much you. for watching. 
And uh, remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And uh, you could also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do uh, tutorials and, uh, and we do that every week on Sundays at uh, 6 p.m. Central European time, which is 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So uh, once again, thank you so much for watching and we really hope that we'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.